Hi, we're going to talk about root mean square. So this is the speed of gas molecules right here. Um, and where it comes from is the fact that kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared. And we also know that temperature and kinetic energy are directly proportional. So as you increase the temperature of a gas, those molecules are going to move faster because they have more energy. Um, so this does a beautiful job. It came from Maxwell's, um, can also be called Maxwell's equation. Um, it comes, it, it illustrates the fact that as you increase speed, you also increase the temperature or vice versa. Or if I decrease the temperature, then those molecules will slow down and then it will decrease the speed. Um, so here's how, how it is written. And I have to be honest, this math symbol with the double line, I don't know the square root, why they do that. And then here's another thing that you're probably looking at that going, Okay, if you take the square root of u squared, that just gives you u. So why don't they just say u? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know why that is, but this is how you'll see it. So I'm going to help you, help you interpret it and be able to use it. So this u is actually just velocity, okay? It's what we would do here as our v. And the unit on that is meters per second. Again, why they use the u instead of the v, I don't know. I, I don't know why that is but we'll roll with it. You'll know root mean square means speed. So this is going to be finding speed, velocity, meters per second. Um, now it equals the square root of three RT divided by M. A couple of special things on this. Um, because this comes from energy, it's all related to energy, we are using joules, okay? So that has two really significant impacts. Number one, the R, the rate constant, even though we're dealing with gases, we're talking about the energy, the speed of gases, we have to use the gas constant that includes joules, okay? So this is gonna be 8.314 joules divided by Kelvin times mole. I tell my students, whenever you have the gas constant and you're dealing anything with energy, you live with the 8.314. It's only when you're looking at pressure in gases that you use the 0 0.0821 ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. Um, so common mistake that students will make, they forget that, oh, this is energy. We have to use the 8.314 joules divided by Kelvin times mole. Let me point this out really quick. The um, gas constant when it's pressure is 0 0.0821. Check out the units on this, ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. Notice the denominators are the same. What changes is the numerator. So here I have volume and pressure, whereas there I have energy. So when you see that R, you're asking yourself, am I dealing with pressure or am I dealing with energy? Root mean square, definitely energy. Second, um, the really big impact on this. Okay, joules, if you'll recall, is a kilogram times meter squared divided by second squared. Let's write that down. Joule is kilogram times meter squared divided by second squared. Um, that means when we do molar mass, this is just what we get from the periodic table, um, the mass of an element or a compound, and we have one mole of it, the mass has to be in kilograms. So the molar mass is kilograms per mole. There are only two times in a first year chemistry class that I tell students, hey, mass has to be in kilograms, is when you used Broglie's equation and root mean square. And the reason why is both of those equations have joules. So we have to have the same unit, which is kilogram. So a couple of important things to write down in your notes. Molar mass has to be in kilograms and the gas constant has to be the 8.314. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do a problem together. Uh, it says calculate the RMS, so root mean square, it's just a fancy way of saying velocity, the speed um, of N2, so nitrogen gas at 25 degrees C. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in. We are going to have our velocity squared equals, and that's the square root of it, sorry, square root of three times the gas constant, 8.314 joules divided by Kelvin times mole times temperature. Okay, it has to be in Kelvin. So temperature is going to be 25 plus 273.15, and that will give us 298.15 Kelvin 
divided by, okay, I'm going to be really careful and super explicit for you on this, the molar mass. Okay, look at the periodic table. The molar mass of nitrogen, I've got two of those, is 14.01. Multiply that, we get 28.02 grams per mole. That's molar mass, but we need kilograms. So there are a thousand grams in one kilogram. That's going to give us 28.02 times 10 to the minus three kilograms per mole. So be really careful. You've got to have that in kilograms. So we're going to put up here 28.02 times 10 to the minus three kilograms per mole, kilograms per mole. Okay, so plug all of this into your calculator and we are going to get that the root mean square on this is 515. 515 and that is going to be meters per second. I could also write this u equals 515 meters per second because the square root of u squared is just u, it's just the velocity. Um, now, I want to show you how the units pull out in this. Um, I talk units a lot, the importance of units, and I want you to see very explicitly where these units come from. So let's do that. We're just going to look at the units. Joule, let's actually break that apart. That is a kilogram times meter squared divided by second squared times, oh, excuse me, and that's all divided by Kelvin times mole times Kelvin divided by kilogram times uh, times mole, or divided by mole, so sorry, excuse me. Okay, um, so I have a fraction divided by a fraction here. I'm going to clean just this part up, the um, top part right here. We are going to get um, kilogram times meter squared divided by second squared so this is going to be, I'm multiplying, so it's going to be times uh, Kelvin. Now, when you have a fraction divided by a fraction, you take the fraction on the bottom, reciprocate it, and multiply it. So it's going to be times, um, so this is divided by Kelvin times mole, so this is going to be times one over Kelvin times mole. So notice, Kelvin cancels. And this is still all over kilogram per mole. So let's clean up this part right here. That will give us kilogram times meter squared divided by second squared times mole on the bottom. Now I'm going to take this as a fraction divided by a fraction. Let's reciprocate this and multiply. So that would be times mole over kilogram. Oh, there it is. Check it out. Mole cancels, kilogram cancels. What am I left with? We'll be left with the square root of, remember this is all under the square root all under the square root right there. Leaves me with meter squared divided by second squared. Take the square root, meter per second. Wow. So there's your justification of why we have to use uh, kilograms, be super careful, um, and why you have to use the 8.314. Okay, nice. Um, so easy formula to use, you just have to be careful on two things. You've got 8.314 for your gas constant, and you have kilogram per mole for the molar mass. Um, and what you'll find is as you increase the temperature right here, you increase the speed. That kinetic energy is direct, directly proportional to temperature. All right, good work. If you have other questions, um, check out the uh, kinetic molecular theory video. Um, look at the uh, gas playlist, and you'll have all sorts of support. Uh, when it comes to talking about gases. Thanks so much. Have a really good day.